everyone. My name is Jen Westlake from Solulaire, and I'm excited to announce my new show called Soulcast, where every week we will talk about the treasures and the traps, and I'll give you techniques and tools to navigate your days and weeks ahead. This week, I'm excited to suggest that you create a space to where you can take five or 10 minutes out of your day or at the end of your day and just stop and go into this silence. Give your mind a break from all the stresses and worries that you have in your daily life. Allow yourself to go within and to connect with your higher self, to connect with your soul and allow yourself to receive the loving messages and guidance that your soul wants to give you. The reason I call my program Solulaire is because it means to live within, because everything you need to know is already within you. And if you want to connect with your higher power, with the universe, with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Heavenly Father, you can do that by stepping into the silence and communing with them and allowing yourself to feel the love that they have for you. Find a space, make it cozy, make it comfortable, add candles, add aromatherapy, add a stuffed animal that you are especially fond of. Make it your own space to where you can go and just take that five or 10 minutes every day before you start the day, at the end of your day, whatever works best for you and your schedule is a time for you to just stop, give your mind a break, allow your heart rate to slow and calm down and allow yourself to just feel the space and the peace in the silence. This is going to be an excellent technique for you to use in the days ahead as life is becoming more stressful and that we are being inundated with so much information and we are being given so many more responsibilities that it can be overwhelming at times. And in order for you to keep your energy in your body, keep your energy in your arc space, it's really important for you to stay in the present moment. For those of us, which is all of us, <laughs> we play many roles every day. So staying in the present moment and focusing on just the one role, whether it be employee, parent, spouse, sibling or friend it doesn't matter just stay in that one role and focus on that one role instead of letting all of the different roles you play be on the forefront of your mind and that is exhausting and it takes up a lot of your energy so in order to get through your day with ease and grace work on being in the present moment and just playing one role at a time. This will bless your life and keep you from wearing out and wearing thin a lot more quickly. Another thing I'd like to suggest this week that can assist you are some crystals that can help you. And I have my list right here. I just took some notes earlier. The first crystal I think that can assist and support you this coming week is Tiger's Eye. This crystal has the unique ability to help you help clear away negativity and the things that can keep you distracted. It's going to be really important in the days ahead for you to be able to be focused, clear, and sharp. And so hematite can assist you with this. Another crystal that can help you is, I meant tiger's eye, is hematite. Hematite helps your root chakra. It helps you be grounded. It helps you with being organized. It helps you with 
your finances. It helps you with organization and routine. It helps you with your health and with your strength. And so the days ahead, it's going to be important for you to be grounded. And hematite and tiger's eye can help you with this. Another crystal that can serve you is amazonite. This Crystal empowers you to be able to speak your truth and to speak the truth. For you many truth seekers out there, it has been difficult for you to share um, your truth with the information of all the different things coming out and what you've learned. This crystal can help give you the confidence to speak your truth about the truth in such a way that can assist you in talking to some of those difficult people. It will support you in those various communications that you have. The last crystal I think that would be a blessing to you this week is purple fluoride. This is going to help you with your third eye chakra. It's going to help you visualize the things that you want, your ideal situations. It's going to help you focus on what's going right in your life instead of what's going wrong. And it's going to also help melt away negativity that can be a distraction for you during your week. So these are things that you can get or even just look at a picture of them and that can assist you just their energy just by seeing them and visualizing them in your mind's eye can help you with the chaos and the stress that you have. That's another gift of purple fluoride. It can bring order out of chaos, especially during these stressful days that we live in. Another problem that we have in staying positive is our own internal dialogue. We need and deserve to speak more kindly to ourselves about ourselves, about our current life and the situations in our life and the people in our lives. Our inner dialogue needs to be one that is supportive and for us instead of against us. We have already too many um areas in our life that are telling us about what's going wrong. The last thing we need is for ourselves to be focusing on that and speaking those words. There is power in the spoken word and even the spoken word inside your own mind and inside your own heart. So I've come up with a few affirmations that can assist you during this week. One of them is to remind yourself that everything is going to be okay. This affirmation helps you open up your heart and to trust and have faith in your higher power and in God. God loves you. He is here for you. So when you step into the silence every day for that five, 10 or longer, this is a time for you to partner with your heavenly father and to ask him for his guidance, and to ask him to bless your life. Many times we are feeling bombarded by the struggles and challenge that we have every day. These five or 10 minutes is a wonderful time to ask our higher self to take some of these burdens from off of our shoulders. Say, angels, Hide yourself, Heavenly Father, I give you this problem. And while I'm at work today, I ask you to work on this for me and help me with this. And just allow yourself to trust and have faith. And things will begin to get better. Another affirmation that I think can serve you at this time. I wrote these down. Let me just find my notes here. Oops, right over here, is all good things floweth unto me. All good things floweth unto me. All good things floweth unto me. And allow yourself to receive all the goodness and love that God wants to give you. He is the giver of the good gifts. So all good things floweth unto me.
Another positive affirmation is, I am in alignment with God's highest plan for my life. I am in alignment with God's highest plan for my life. I am in alignment with God's highest plan for my life. And allow yourself to align. Allow yourself to become a vibrational match for God's highest plan for your life. The last affirmation I have for you this week is all things are working towards my greatest advantage and benefit. Our Heavenly Father wants you to be in alignment with the things that are in your best and highest good. So all things are working towards my greatest advantage and benefit. All things are working towards my greatest advantage and benefit. These are some sayings that you can tell yourself when you start feeling stressed out, when you start feeling sad or bad about how things are going in your life. We need to turn flip things 180 degrees and start focusing on what's going right, the things that we are grateful for, the things that we desire to have in our lives. Um, what is our ideal situation? And focus on those things. And in order to do that, that's why it's important for you to go into the silence so that you can get the clarity and the peace that you deserve. One of the things I want you to know is that God loves you beyond your comprehension. He is here for you. He wants to walk with you every day. And so those five to 10 minutes every day is a great day for you to develop your personal relationship with your loving father, your loving creator, your higher self with your own soul. It's important to get all of those influences on the same page because you deserve it. Allow yourself to receive the love and blessings that God, your higher self, your angels, and the universe wants to give you. With these things, I bless you and send you my love. And if I can be a further assistance, you can find me at solulaire.com. You can email me at hello at solulaire.com or leave your questions and comments in the comments below. I wish you the very best for you this week, and I will see you next time. Thank you.